Here with head coach, the head coach, Sean Kirikoff. Coach, another week. How we doing? Always good. Always good. Good to hear. Uh, Lady Demons on the road this week. A pair of matches down in South Louisiana. You got New Orleans on Thursday and Nichols on Saturday. We'll talk about that in uh, in a min- in a minute. But want to look back on this past week. Uh, roller coaster. Yeah. Uh, you want to call it that? Uh, phenomenal win on Thursday against uh, HBU, and then. Not so much uh, performances against McNeese that we, we kind of talked about, but I think the thing that um, maybe stood out the most is, and we talked about it after McNeese, the sort of the evolution th- that this team is st- continuing to yeah. go through. I mean, we talked about it a couple of different times, but if you look back on that this that pa- this past week in particular, where does where does that evolution maybe start or? continue or uh, what are the biggest things that you hope to grow from this past week as we move forward? Uh, We talked about after HBU just some validation um, on what we're capable of doing and so I got to think that hopefully we had the dip on Saturday that means we're on the way back up on Thursday. Um, And then we also talked about after the McNeese match of just the ability to have the week to scout and prepare for an opponent and, and it worked. And we played well. Um, we did a lot of good things from the uh, the game plan standpoint and executed those. Um, it's a much more difficult thing to do to be able to turn right back around and and change directions and do that again on a Saturday match. And and I think we can go for any team, any conference, whatever it is, that second opponent in the week. I mean, usually you're, and it's usually unfortunately on the road. <laughs> You know that the your your record isn't as high as that first opponent. Um, again, to say it again, that's usually something that you find on the road, so it's not something that you want um, at home. Um, but it exists, and it exists for a reason. I mean, it's hard to kind of jam a game plan in there and then be prepared to change gears and play somebody different. Um, and that's what we saw, you know, Saturday. So a little bit more time to prepare for UNO, and then it again is like the evolution of like you talked about, to be able to change gears, come back, put something else in front of them from a game plan standpoint, and then be able to execute that against Nichols on Saturday. Now taking maybe a broader look at where we were at the end of August to now, I mean, we're closing in on the midway point of the conference schedule this weekend. Where have been the biggest evolutions uh, of this team uh, that you've seen thus far? Great question. Um, I don't know if something necessarily jumps out in my head, but um, you know we've talked about all year about the, the distribution of offense, which is good, but I think that we've been able to incrementally increase all those. So whereas somebody was giving us, you know, maybe two kills per set or a little bit under that, and we were getting multiple people to be able to do that, we're now getting two and a half kills per set from those people. So I mean, it's just those small little increments of improvement across the board. So it's not necessarily one area where I could say like, oh man, you know, this is just amazing at this point. Um, It's just little improvements across the board. Um, and And that really showed against HBU because I mean there was no way that we were going to be a one-trick pony I mean I can't think of a better way (laughs) to throw an analogy out there (laughs) against HBU a team like that and then be able to pull off that win so we had to be good in a bunch of different facets of the game and we were able to do that Um, so I mean it 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 comes down to like I said everyone's improved their areas of stats whether it's digs per set um, or kills per set, just a little bit across the board. So, um, I mean, to grasp another thing, it's I think it's uh, um, old Lakers coach, Miami Heat, Pat oh, Riley. Pat Riley. Yeah. Pat Riley. Uh, my era, Lakers. <laughs> and instead of thinking about the Heat, uh, you know, it, him saying get one percent better every single day, and I think that that's something that we've been able to do. Um, so it's not just one area where I'd be like that has to be it. All right, we're moving into this week. Uh, like I said, two road matches uh, headed under New Orleans on Thursday and then Nichols on Saturday. Um, like I said, moving into the midway point of the conference schedule, um, got the big win on Thursday. Opportunity here mm-hmm. with the next three matches against two of them against New Orleans in the, in the next three. Um, opportunity to 
make a move. Now, it's kind of weird that since everybody's going to the conference tournament, but this is this is the chance where you get that midway point, and it's like, all right, now we got to really zone in on what we're trying to do to finish the season out strong. Yeah, um, I guess in my mind, I'm not necessarily thinking, I would say immediately when you said that about everyone going to the conference tournament, the immediate answer is like the, the seeding and the matchups in that first round still matter. I yeah. mean, that matters. Um, but I think of it more as just the development of the team and you've played someone, you can see how they beat you um, or how you won, and now how can you either repeat that or what can you do to change? And I mean, that, that's the big thing about, um, you know, I think of years past of uh, teams in 17, 18, 19, especially 19, where we have a veteran group that's played a bunch and you can give them, you know, a little bit of video and some scouts and then be able to reference it. If you remember last year, we did this against that team and, and we need to do that again. And, and, and for those groups to then be able to have it just click and go, okay, got it. You know, we can go into this team and do exactly that again. You know, we're not there as a group yet. Um, but that's where when you see somebody a second time, that's when you start to learn how to be that group. Yeah. And, and that pays off obviously this year and then exponentially down the road for when we're putting in scouts next year and the year after that for this group who will have for a while to be like, okay, we've been here, we've done that, we know how that worked, um, and you can just immediately put it into into practice. A yeah. uh, couple quick keys to uh, Thursday against New Orleans. Um, man, well, both these teams, and this is just very common, is um, because they've struggled, they've, they've just been throwing a bunch of different lineups out there. I mean, and they have a couple key players that you know you're gonna be able to see and have to defend. Um, but, I mean, both of them are in and out of a 6-2 and a 5-1, uh, changed some people here and there, and, and that, that's common. And we've done the exact same thing to try to figure out, you know, what is going to be best for us. Um, so I would have been, it would have been a much easier question for me to answer last week because you have a little bit of a better idea what we're about to see in those matches than compared to New Orleans and Nichols just because, it, it just, it, it's a big difference on if they're in a 6-2 or a 5-1, and they've both been bouncing in and out of that just to kind of figure out what's gonna work best for them. So I'm not, I'm not going to answer your question <laughs> <laughs> is really what it comes down to. <laughs> well, and then, that, well, so about Nichols uh, specifically, uh, you know, the record is what it is, but they're, I feel like, probably a better team than what their oh, record yeah. Uh, oh, yeah. is. Yeah, I mean, they're pushing people to five, um, and it almost, in, in a sense, like we talked about with UTA, um, have been able to go four and five with a bunch of people and been able to compete with, uh, you know, different teams um, in different ways and just haven't been able to figure out how to, to finish towards the end to get turn those things into wins. But you're absolutely right. I mean, Nichols is pushing a lot of people and doing some good things and um, is just, when it matters the most, kind of struggles a little bit and hasn't been able to turn it into wins, but they're right there. Well, that, that last sentence sounds familiar. To yeah. us too, yeah. Absolutely. All right, Coach, we'll appreciate your time as always. Uh, best of luck this weekend, and we'll talk to you again soon. Thank you.